Today, I wanted to speak about something that's extremely important for all classical music, for all first movements of works, starting with Haydn, going on through Mozart, Beethoven, Brahms, Schumann, even 20th century composers, and that's sonata form. Sonata form is three big elements, exposition, development, and recapitulation. In the exposition, there's always minimum, but we'll keep it simple. There's always two themes that have to contrast. The development has uses elements of these themes to develop. The re recapitulation uses the same two themes, slightly different key, and usually to finish the work, there's a coda. In this example of the of the spring sonata of, of Beethoven. It's very, very clear, and we wanted to illustrate this for you. The first theme... And the second theme, which comes just a little later, very contrasted with this theme, sounds like. Yeah, then there's beautiful transitions, virtuoso scales going up, really a la Beethoven. And then you feel like this is all coming to an end with what we call a closing theme, which is just short and also motivic. So we get to hear the first theme again, the second theme again. We also have the great luxury when we're a duo, is that these themes are presented in one instrument and then presented in another. And that always has this double effect, is that it really sounds different in a different um, instrument and has a different meaning. So you heard the violin version of the first theme, and this is the piano version. Texture, different way of saying the same thing, different meaning. The same thing goes for the second theme. So then there's more transition, more virtuoso scales going up and down. And then we of course come to the closing theme again. But now we have to announce the development, and Beethoven announces it with a surprise. Here. What's he doing here? So, this is the, announced the beginning of the, the development, and as I said, it takes elements and motives of the first part, so of the first theme and the second theme. The first theme we know, long note and a whole bunch of short notes. Now this motive is just taking this short note motive and repeating it, so. And that's it. That's all he uses from the first beautiful theme. What he does now is he takes the second theme and develops it. So we heard this theme with short notes, bum, 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 bum. And 
what does he do now to add to this tormented, typical Beethoven character and atmosphere? He makes these notes long. <laughs> So we interchange and we, let's say, pollute this atmosphere with these busy triplets. How does he do it? In a very minimal, very simple way, with just a little trill. character and then we find our way back home and there's this great relief of being back home. So the second part the recapitulation is now again the first theme this time on the piano and then on the violin, the second theme in the violin and then the piano, the transition with all the scales going up and down and then we arrive at again this closing theme which normally should finish the work. <laughs> the development. <laughs> Elements of the first theme. concept of the more you know, the more you love, I'm sure that if you just know a few of these elements, you start to recognize it in all the pieces, and you see how these composers, especially Beethoven, one of the masters of this, plays with these forms, plays with the themes that are contrasting, what he does in the development, what, how he brings the theme back in the recapitulation, fascinating. It's like reading a, a book, a, 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 an intriguing book that just captures you from beginning to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> 